Hello, my name is Robert Laurie, and today I present to you Japan culture. Now, eating etiquette in Japan, it, they do provide you wet towels, and the wet towels is for cleaning hands before you start eating. Now, there's bad manners versus good manners. Bad manners is um, chewing with your mouth open, uh, smacking your mouth, burping at the dining table, and good manners are when you finish eating and completely finishing your food and emptying your bowls. Uh, large dishes are usually shared. Um, you usually have a dedicated chopstick, so you can pick what you want from that dish. Um, and you will always return your dishes back to normal after eating. You do have, um, and if you want every, more information, you can go to japanguide.com for more information. Um, greetings, there is bow depth. Uh, there's three different types of bow, ishaku, kaire, and shakaire. Um, those are three different types of bow. There's casual uh, for the ishaku, more formal for kaire, and apologies and saying great thank you in shakaire. Uh, the different titles you do have san and sama san is more for like a casual person you walk up and like something someone introducing me that they've known for a long time will be like robert san but if i'm like elderly or something you usually use sama um haji haji ma, hajime mamashite is when you first meet someone you do saying like a uh, greeting it's basically like a greeting when you first meet that person and you can find more information at cultural atlas dot sbs dot com marriage and dating in japan you do start off with a confession first you do um you say your feelings to someone and explain empty your feelings and usually that's the beginning of the relationship uh during the relationship they do split bills so they would both feel equal and not not um feel like one is giving more than the other public confession is not a thing in japan they normally just hold hands they wouldn't kiss or hug normally like we do um traditional kimonos it, when you're getting married traditional kimonos is worn both by um the bride and groom um during the ceremonies and shugi bukuro is like let's say you're attending a weapon a, a wedding um during the wedding what you would happen is you would usually bring a red envelope with money filled inside and you can find more information at easyweddings.com and sunagujapan.com as well. Visiting and gift giving. Now there's two different holidays, Uchigen and Osibo. Or well, Uchigen is usually during the summer and Osibo is usually during the December. Um, you, when you do, do give gifts, you do use two hands. It is considered rude and disrespectful by giving it by one hand. Also another way of being rude is, let's say gift giving in front of a group of people, that's something that you usually don't do. Um, and also opening the gift in front of a group of people is also considered rude. Um, presentation is key, as you can see here. Um, someone is wrapping the gift in a fabric material. Usually what we would do is wrap it in um, a wrapping paper, and that's something that they do take serious about how you present your gifts. You can find more information at trulyexperience.com. Now, during businesses, you do not say no. That is something they try to stick away from. So you wouldn't have conflict during the business meeting. More what you would do is say, um, come up with a different type of uh, scenario or a different route of doing things. Business cards is a key in the business meetings. You do not want to come to a business meeting and not have business cards in Japan. You make sure it is in English and Japanese. Um, black ties is not to be worn. Black ties is more mainly for um, funerals, so you use a different shade uh, for a tie. Um, being groomed is also a great thing. Do not come ungroomed. They consider it unprofessional. And punctuality is a key. Come to your meeting 10 to 20 minutes early so you know you have everything prepared. Also, interpreters have to be provided when you're going into a business meeting in Japan. That is uh, something that you would have to provide on your own. We would not provide interpreters. And make sure they do, are um, being respectful to everyone when they're coming in. And you can find more information at planetdepots.com. And thank you for joining me for more about Japan's culture. If you have any information, you can always contact me. Have a good day.